Hey travelers, Mag, I, and me mom here on day 227 of our trip around the United States. Today is our last day on road march with me mom. We made it just shy of completing our target list last night and it was intentional where we stopped because if we'd continued any further it would have been difficult to find a spot to bed down and finding a spot to sleep is very important for me if not me mom. Today we are covering 165 miles total. That covers a little bit that we had from last night and 120 miles that we had from today's route. It is a steady march south and east either along the five or on the other side of these hills you see here marching along the 33. But at all times we are going to be continuing south and east along the interstate or the highway all day long until we reach Santa Clarita. Now today's schedule only really called for some power runs, both roadside and hiking, and some geoarts. So it was a very easy day for us to manage. We had no problem adding in what we have from last night still into it, and when we get up to the runs at the end of the day, we'll decide, based on the amount of time we have left, how much of it we're gonna take on before we cut and finish things up in Santa Clarita. I'm looking forward to one more day of road marching, and a lot of interesting geocaches as we steadily make our way into Santa Clarita and then back into LA. You ready to do this? I'm ready. I'm ready to do it. Let's go see what today has in store. Come on, let's go. Our morning begins just outside the city of Avenal, the pistachio capital of the world. Well, self-proclaimed capital of the world anyway, having dubbed this title upon themselves back in 2013. And whether or not that is true, the title reflects the importance of the pistachio industry to the city's economy. Driving along any of the roads between these green fields will yield beautiful views with sights of those pistachio crops not too far off in the distance. Over 100,000 acres in the California Central Valley are dedicated to the wonderful orchards. The warm days and cool nights work together with the region's natural soils to create the perfect growing climate for these delicious nuts. We had a chance to see many of these fields up close and personal as our track toward the geocaches we were targeting today took us off the pavement and further along the dirt roads. By the time we had made it all the way to the series, we were getting the most out of our all-wheel drive, picking the best path each time to figure out how to keep the wheels out of the mud as much as possible. Despite the conditions being less than optimal, this was still preferable to our drive through the mountains as there was no snowpack to have to contend with this time around. Once we arrived at the first geocache in this line of series of geocaches, the fun began in earnest. With each listing located only about 525 feet down the road from the previous listing, we would drive just a very short distance, hop out, and go make another find. Despite the geocaches being set so closely apart for miles down the road, this was not your typical power run, as most of the geocaches had a little bit of variety to offer us. I suggested that me, mom, and I trade off using the camera, but first we had to overcome some technical difficulties. Oh wait, it flipped around and it's filming me. <laughs> I didn't do anything. How do I make it switch? Just turn the camera around. Oh. <laughs> if I'm going to take on numbers while geocaching, this is exactly the way that I prefer to do it. Rather than just progressing down the same stretch of pavement for mile after mile, finding the same exact geocache at every stop, we were challenged both on the terrain and the kinds of finds out here. The reserve road itself is in fairly good condition, although it does have some spots that are filled with some pretty soft mud. With some careful driving, we were able to negotiate through the most difficult spots, although there were two spots on the road that we had to get off completely and find ourselves bumping along through the grass. The hiders used whatever means they had available out here to help ensure the geocaches stayed relatively close together. While some could be found hanging along the fence or possibly in a pole, most would use some kind of cover right along the side of the road. And for those, thankfully, in a land filled with grass and small shrubs, it does tend to stick out a little. There we go. That was a tough one. <laughs> there was a lot of places to look around here. I'm glad we were able to track this down. 
My favorite part of this adventure is when we decide to take on the question mark filled with challenge geocaches. Despite all of the geocaches being listed with mystery icons, these are actually all at their posted coordinates. There is an entry point to be able to park near a couple in the right hand side of the top of the question mark, but after that you must hike across the terrain to make each find. What we quickly discovered is that although none of these geocaches are on an official trail, it is very easy terrain to negotiate. We had only planned to grab a couple of these, but seeing as how Aichan and Mimom were both enjoying the trail, we decided to stay longer and grab a few more than that. How does this day rank for the California stats? You having a good time out here? Having a good time. I like the walking. It's beautiful. It's not hazardous for me. Nice smooth trail. Yep. And with fun geocache finds all along the way, right? That's right. Challenge caches all along the way with good DTs. You come out here and you get kind of a little bit of everything that gets a geocacher going. The road conditions are a little bit rugged. You could probably do it in a regular car, but all-wheel drive would be at least the way to go. And to get out here, we stopped short of where these geocaches are just to walk a little further because the road was pretty washed out near the last part. There's challenges. There's non-challenges, which are traditional listed geocaches that have a completely optional challenge to qualify for if you want to do them. And the challenges are usually pretty ridiculous. So it's nice that they're out there as a traditional because you can do it either way you want to for those. There's also a series of letter boxes. And really, with this walk out here for the question mark, we could probably spend two days doing these geocaches. But we're not gonna do that. We're still gonna grab a few more of the challenges on our way up the road and continue on till Santa Clarita. And really, who wouldn't enjoy taking a walk out on terrain like this, with views out in the distance just offering you to march a little bit closer? With a cool breeze in the air, the sun shining down on us, and optimal weather conditions, nobody was complaining for a second about walking just a little bit further. Aichan just took the stroll at a casual pace, in no hurry, and enjoying each smell she discovered along the way, as me, Mom, and I worked as a team to find the geocaches one after another. With there being significantly less cover out here than there were at the geocaches along the roadside, all we really need to do at each ground zero was look for some kind of pile of rocks or something that wasn't a large tuft of grass. With no real brain power required to make the finds or search for answers like we would with virtuals or earth caches, we really just spent the time enjoying the view and chatting along the way. And with as much fun as these geocaches were, I know that if I ever find myself back in this part of California, I'll be sure to allocate an entire day so that we can come out here, hike along in the grass, and make some finds. We are getting ready to walk back right now. We'd only planned to do a couple of these that are in this series to walk on, but it's such a nice spot out here. We decided to do extra on both sides of it. The dog is poised on the way back, just hoping, hoping we'll turn that direction and it's time to go. If we go that way, she's going to bow her head in disappointment, but she's got good news coming ahead because we are done and we're heading back. As soon as we start going, she's ready to rock and roll. Hey guys, I will show you the way back to the car. Let's do this thing. It's right over there. <laughs> we spent the majority of our day working our way through the caches one at a time along the reserve road out in the hill country. With only one jump remaining between here and our final destination of Santa Clarita, it was easy to know exactly when we needed to call it a day and start driving the long dirt roads all the way east until we could connect to the highway and head on into town. Having spent all day without seeing anything since Avenal, it was great to be able to drop in and first thing discover a mural near our geocache target. And before we call it a day completely, neither one of us could resist the opportunity to discover this travel bug hotel, fully loaded with travelers waiting for the next geocacher to pick them up and whisk them along off to an adventure in distant places. Well, that looks like it's gonna do it not only for our day, but for the rest of the miles we have to cover with me and mom with us on this part of the trip. We are only one jump away from Santa Clarita, which is the last of the pages we need on the route that she'll be with us. So tomorrow, we will be dropping in from Santa Clarita to Los Angeles, and it'll be no, no new counties and no new pages, but 
we will have a lot of scenic sites like virtuals and other stuff in store too. Yeah. We had a great time today running through the hill country and getting to find the different runs of geocaches that were out there. I enjoyed that it was not just really difficult challenges, which is what we and we enjoy out of the game, but it was also a lot of traditional geocaches for the people who don't qualify. The geo art of challenge mystery art to get you hiking out there off the roadways, as well as a bunch of letter boxes and a lot of finds in general. So we took the day, enjoyed working our way through those geocaches. I tried to get out of the car to hike when she wanted to. She slept in the back quite a bit when she didn't want to. And me, mom, and I made finds all along the way. You had a good time today? Great day. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing one more day on the road with us in California. And we're looking forward to finishing things off with a couple of days working our way into and around Los Angeles. Like this video, subscribe to stay tuned for daily updates, and we'll see you out on the trails.